Hello everyone. These are Johnny and June's Lakeland Terrier puppies born September 4th and they are five and a half weeks today and I'm going to start getting <clears throat> today I'm going to do the video the longer video where I'm kind of describing the differences in looks and personalities that I'm seeing so far right here is pink and on my left is yellow. These two I am trying so hard to pick and I'm really torn really 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 torn. I will have them picked by the next video, but whew, having a hard time. Um, all right, so before I get into the puppy picking, um, I'll do sizes, which I think most of you are pretty aware of the sizes. So between yellow and pink, um, yellow is just a hair taller um, than pink. <laughs> Not that much. And obviously between the two, thank you, Nora. Between these two, um, purple and red. That one is red. Red is the smallest of all of them. And purple is pretty petite as well. She's probably the second smallest. Um, and then would be black and then pink and then red. So that's from smallest to largest. This is pink right here. Pink, yellow, red. So typically when I have a pole litter, um, I describe most energetic to least energetic. I put them in order and that this really one, helps. This is yellow and, and this is pink. This one, that really helps um, distinguish kind of the pecking order. And um, I have found that it really shows like the more outgoing puppies typically end up being the alpha, the leader, the more independent, the more the least outgoing ones are just a lot of times more of a docile dog for a terrier i always remind people that despite everything these are still terrier puppies so they are still going to be wild and feisty here's red um i uh black and tan family if you are showing a preference let me know i may just in the end not be able to decide and you can pick but um i will let you know that for sure on saturday um but I'll probably pick, but if you let me know if you have a preference, then I'll see. Um, but yeah, they're growing up really fast. So anyways, back to the personality. So I've been sitting here a long time now trying to nail down what I've been observing over the last five and a half weeks. And I'm having a really hard time putting them in order. Normally it's really, really clear cut who's the most outgoing, who's the least outgoing. And I have that to a degree but um, not like I normally do. And I think it's because this whole litter is really very even tempered, which is exactly what we try to breed in our Lakeland and all our puppies is nice, even tempered puppies if there aren't the extreme personalities. And I think we've achieved that in this litter because I'm really struggling. So um, I can definitely say <laughs> the most outgoing one in this bunch is yellow, black and tan yellow. Um, He's usually kind of the leader. He's usually the one getting into the most trouble. Um, just seems like he's a lot of times. I, I just had an easy time assigning him number one. And honestly, he's not that like crazy outgoing, but um, he's just the one I picked. Sorry, bad videoing here for number one. Um, so then after that is where I got stumped. I really got tied between uh, black and tan pink collared, the Wheaton purple, and the red perp, the wet red Wheaton. Um, so I think if I had to, those three are really similar. Again, really even keeled with their temperaments. And, oops, sorry, I just tripped Nora. And um, not really like super outgoing, super, super, but also not, there's pink, shy. Um, so I, if I had to, I would probably put yellow, black, and tan as number one. And then I would probably put purple, wheat and purple, as number two, from most outgoing to least. And then it's seriously hard to decide between little red and um, pink, black, and tan. I'm, ah, man, like they're truly a tie if I ever saw one. 
Um, let's see. I don't know. That just goes to tell you how similar these two are. I'm probably going to put red as number three and then pink as number four, but just with the understanding that they're extremely similar. And then number five, the most, the most docile in this litter is this little black girly. She's a sweetie. All of them are really people oriented. Um, yellow is a bit more independent, but all the rest of them, I mean, they love to be licking me in my lap. Um, jumping up on me and he's just a sweetie or she sorry I keep saying he she's just really a sweet personality um so yeah like I said I'm gonna really try hard to to get my family to to pick we will buy the next puppy video um but they're doing really great yeah oh, I think this video recorded in the wrong uh, up and down instead of sideways. Thanks, Yellow. Thanks for all the kisses. Thanks for all the kisses. Yeah. You're making my decision hard. You guys are so cute. It makes it so hard. Hey, Nora. You be gentle. And here's purple. And in the next video, I will um, mostly let you observe them and just kind of follow one puppy at a time. And I'll also try to do a better job of getting them side, like the two Wheaton side by side and the um, two black and tan side by side. Easy, easy. One at a time, Nora. Aw, oh, yeah, did she scare you? She can sometimes be scary, but that's good for you. Good for both of you guys. Yeah, they're doing awesome. So stinking cute. I've been torn between the two black and tans because I really like, I mean, we're talking so minuscule of a difference, but I really love yellow's big full head. Sorry, bad videoing today. Um, he's just got such a pretty head. I mean, they both do, but I don't know something about his. But I really like her personality, and with a lot of other dogs, we typically have to pick the less alpha, so... Probably gonna be, I don't know, I'm, I can't decide. Gentle Nora, gentle, good girl. Anyways, they're doing awesome. Everybody have a good rest of your week.